Symbols are probably my favorite feature in Affinity Designer. They are super useful in terms of like UI work. Uh, I use them pretty heavily on website designs or uh, app designs, mainly because you in those realms, you get a lot of repeat, repeatable elements. Those elements tend to have the same styles or at least kind of same characteristics. To demonstrate this, I want to do a quick video about these and the symbols panel itself and all the little features that come along with it. Um, you can get to the symbols panel by going to view. I don't know if you guys can see this, but studio and then there is a symbols window that can come up. By default, it's hidden, so you'll have to find it. To make use of symbols, the easiest route um, is very similar if you're coming from Sketch, is to create one here. Uh, you simply select a group that you have containing elements. Um, make sure they're, you're not selecting the interior elements or those will become symbols independently. You don't really want that, I don't think. So when you create one, it just shows up in this panel over here. And then you can drag however many of these you want onto your page. And as a document-wide feature, these update uh, based on what you change as a symbol. That, I mean, that's kind of the definition of, so you see here, everything turned to submit, or if you wanted to update the color, we can do that too. So, okay, cool. I think with modern application design apps now, this is kind of a standard feature, but man, the days of old Photoshop uh, pixel pushing was a pain to do that stuff. Um, but essentially, if you wanted to have, say, a um, symbol that maybe is a little different than the other one, or you just change certain things about it, but you don't want the first one to change, um, you can do that pretty easily with this sync feature. Um, I don't think Sketch has something like this. If it does, I'm not aware of it, but it's pretty cool. Like you un uncheck the sync feature, then you can change the element itself to be whatever you please. So uh, <laughs> whatever button, I don't know. But as you saw, the text on this first one didn't change uh, and this one did. So what's neat from here is you can re-establish that sync and now, if you do change something else, like, well, let me fix this. I believe if you do establish this, those update for each new instance now. So that's pretty useful. And then going further, uh, if you create a symbol and you want to completely change it, um, this this is essentially creating a symbol and then saying, okay, I don't want it to be a symbol. You can just hit the detach feature and it becomes the same group you had before. You can adjust it you know, to your liking. So you want a giant button here. And these buttons are from a current project I'm working on, um, if you're wondering. But um, again, you'll notice, obviously they didn't update. So, I mean, that's at the most simplest way to uh, describe it is symbols. Um, I don't know how much more I can say, but uh, once you start toying with these, your projects can be very consistent. Uh, you can use anything from like form elements or actual text elements. Uh, that, I mean, you can even use um, images, etc., that become um, symbols that you reuse a lot, uh, and then from there it's just like endless. So that's symbols. Um, quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or anything, feel free to leave them below. Uh, I'll be coming up with some more videos soon regarding other features of Affinity that I really love. So I hope you look forward to it.